I want to discuss how you can find the risk premium when you have a utility function. So let's look at the following example. Suppose you have a business and you're trying to decide how to compensate your employees. You could use a salary-based compensation method or a commission-based compensation method. So how much more do you have to pay someone to move from a certain salary to an uncertain income based on commission? Or thinking of it the other way, how much less would the employee be willing to accept from what they expect to receive in commission to a certain salary? Well, the risk premium is this extra amount we need to give the person to accept the uncertain amount of money. So let's look at it, the following example. Suppose the company has estimated the following compensation based on commissions, 40% chance of earning 160,000, 60% chance of earning $62,500. And let's suppose that the employee has the following utility function. So utility is equal to the square root of I, where I is the level of her income then her expected utility would be 0.6 times the square root of 62,500 plus 0.4 times the square root of 160,000. So this would be the you know, um, utility she would get at 62,500. This is the utility she would get at 160,000. And then we have to weight them by the probability of those things happening. And so we get expected utility of 310. What's her expected income? Her expected income is 60% of 62,500 plus 40% of 160,000 or $101,500. So this expected income of $101,500 is uncertain. So we'd like to know the amount that our salesperson would accept as a salary as a salary with certainty that would give her the same level of utility as the uncertain commission based $101,500. So we're looking for the premium that this salesperson requires to take on that uncertain income of commission based on commission. So what do we do? We set the expected utility equal to the utility of the expected income minus the risk premium. And we're going to solve for the risk premium. We'll call it RP. So we know what this is. We calculated this at 310. And the expected income is $101,500. Uh, subtract out the risk premium. And remember, the utility function is to take the square root of that. To get rid of the square root, we just square both sides. And we get $96,100 equals $101,500 minus RP. Solving for RP, we get $5,400. So in this case, the salesperson is indifferent between a certain income of $96,100 and an expected income of $101,500. So we need to pay this person an extra $5,400 over a certain salary of $96,100 in order to get her to accept an uncertain expected income of $101,500 based on commissions. Okay, or looking at it the other way, our employee would be willing to accept $5,400 less over her expected commission based income to get a salary that was guaranteed. If we want to look at it graphically, it looks like this. Here's our utility function. And at 62,500 uh, is right here, and 160,000 is here. Well, we know that the expected value is $101,500. So we draw up to that average, right? And we draw across, that's 310, which we calculated. All right, and by solving for this risk premium, we're back here on this utility function, right? Remember, here, this is expected value. On the utility function, this is with certainty. Sometimes we call this the certainty equivalent. 
so she'd be willing to accept uh, $5,400 less or $96,100 rather than $101,500, which is the expected value to um, get paid with certainty. So I hope that gives you an idea of how this works. And oftentimes we use these same concepts when we look at insurance and um, you know how much somebody would be willing to pay, etc.